Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I am here today to talk about my new library cart. The Alice is what I'm calling her. Um, uh, Cause she takes me to Wonderland. And um, I am just having like the hardest time <laughs> filming the cart like it just it's not really working with my tripod and uh so what I'm gonna I just wanted you to see the whole thing at once and then I'm gonna break it down and let you know what I'm I'm what I've got on each of the shelves of the library cart which is totally subject to change and of course as always I would love to hear how you use your library cart or if you don't have a library cart how you would use it so um I'm just gonna resituate and then uh yeah we'll go through each of the um library cart shelves okay thanks guys before we get to the cart, I thought I would share with you things that are not going to go on my library cart. Um, we have a place for bookmarks it's over on the top of another bookcase. My book journal. I have had this book journal since 1996 um, and it is on my nightstand. The other two things that will be on my nightstand are things that I'm currently reading. So I'm currently reading Confederates in the Attic by Toni Horowitz. So this is on the nightstand and um, <laughs> I need to get caught up in Shakespeare for every day of the year. And finally, what's not going to be on the cart are things like this. <laughs> so this is my new annotated Alice. Um, in April, I am reading uh, Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. Uh, and so this edition is just so beautiful. So I was fascinated by how some of you guys use this cart. Uh, it's, it's a cat carriage. Uh, it holds baking items. It holds craft projects, which I, I can totally see that. Um, yeah, I can see a lot of a lot of good good uses for it um, aside from books. Um, I think somebody said they would use it as a nightstand, and my favorite comment was that it would have books, but also snacks. <laughs> and uh, yes, I think if I had like a reading staycation, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, you know that I, I sometimes do that. Um, and so yeah, if I had a, a reading staycation, um, I would probably have some snacks on the cart, but it's dangerous to do that all the time. So a couple like non-book things that are on the top shelf of the library cart Cart. So this is a little um, like book, like I don't know, iPad book pack. Uh, one of you made me. Thank you so much. I love it. Um, and I decided um, because our basement gets so cold, I actually have two pairs of um, these little gloves um, that don't have. I mean, there's a spot for your thumb, but otherwise, like you can turn the pages really well. This also came from one of you, and it has. Um, uh, some of Pride and Prejudice uh, written on it, which I love. So I'm, I'm very grateful, but I have been struggling. Like, where do these belong? Like, what's the right place for them? And so for the moment, at least, I'm gonna keep them, keep them in this and put them on the top shelf of the book cart. Now, you might be asking me, why isn't the book cart all books? Well, like the shelf, it's not really long enough for like say two hard covers to go like it's not this wide so you couldn't do you couldn't do something like that uh on the cart um so you know got to make the most of the space that we have and do the best that we can with it but oh my goodness um so I've got my gloves I also have my booktube kind of notebook for so many different things. In March, I used it to um, keep track of how many pages I was reading. It's definitely not something I'm gonna do every month. Um, I keep track of all of my um, videos that I make in here. I write down ideas. Um, sometimes I've used this in the past for tag questions and answers things like that. So it's very hodgepodge and it's very, very messy inside. 
Um, I also have this notebook that, again, one of you generously made and gave to me. And it also has a quote from Pride and Prejudice on the front. But um, so this is another place that I use just to again, put ideas, put tag information in, like especially if I'm searching for um, who's done a tag, so I can find some new people to tag in that video, um, I would write that down in this notebook. Okay, so now we get, now everything else on the cart is all books. Um, so the first thing I have are, the remaining books because I have been chipping away at them. These are um, <laughs> the the last four books that I had on my 21 for 2021 books that I I did not read them. Um, so these are like the most high priority books for me this year. Um, and I'm certainly hoping in the first half of the year that I will get through these. So I do have a list of 32 books to read in 2022, which I know like it's, it's not a good sound. It's not a good name for it or whatever, but I couldn't, I couldn't limit myself to just 22, especially when I had some that were left over. And I have read, um, some of the other, other books that were on that, um, we're on that list um, so far this year, and I'm, I'm currently reading one that, that uh, Tony Horowitz book is one of them. So uh, then I promised all of you in, uh, I think it was June, that I was gonna reread five Pulitzer Prize books um, before the next Pulitzer Prize was announced, and I did not gotten to um, rereading The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. It's kind of a big book. It doesn't look like it, but look at that. It's tiny font, and yeah. So I haven't, I haven't reread this one, and I probably am not going to get to it um, by the time we get to the Pulitzer announcement, which I last I checked, um, they were still planning on announcing the Pulitzer Prize, uh, the Pulitzer Prizes in uh, April. So, okay, other books on this top shelf. These are, um, these are just three books from my 32 for 2022 that I really like are kind of more high priority. Um, this one I've owned for a really long time. This one, um, my name is Asher Lev, is one that you guys recommended to me at the end of, um, oh my gosh, was it the end of 2019? Might have been. So I'm gonna read that. I, I think I stole it from my parents' house. And then um, Homegoing, which I know, I'm way behind. I'm way behind. Everyone's read it but me. Um, so anyway, but I got that for free from the library. And a strange twist of fate. So yeah, um, so, so I'm just trying to keep these books on the top shelf as like, these are the higher priority sort of books. Now, I also, one of my goals for this year is to read more poetry. Um, and so I did just grab a couple poetry books um, to include on this um, top shelf um, so that they're kind of, again, front of mind, like I could easily pick it up and read a couple poems from, from one of these. Um, and hopefully, hopefully I'll get there. Um, I just realized the other thing that's missing from this cart is, uh, <laughs> can't believe I did this, is Shakespeare. <laughs> so, so I'll probably add a couple Shakespeare plays, um, not our big collected plays works, um, again, cause it's, not just my library um but yeah i'll probably add a couple a couple plays um I, I my goal is to read four shakespeare plays a year um but anyway i haven't haven't added any so that'll be something to do okay so the second shop I have a section for um buddy reads and um events and again i I'm just looking at it now and realizing there, there's no Jane Austen on here, which I already have planned um, some of the things I want to read for Jane Austen July. Um, 
uh, so those are missing. And then the buddy reads is just something that's like, it's really hard for me to keep track of. And I, I do want to keep track of that and I want to make sure I don't forget. So, um, so I have things like Now in November um, by Josephine Johnson. And this would be another Pulitzer reread, but I'm going to read this with um, Kim from Middle of the Book March. I'm really excited. We've never done a buddy read together. For, and I'm also going to read um, The Painted Drum by Louise Erdrich with uh, Zena from Beating About the Books. Oh, Zena, I hope I got your channel right. I'm so sorry. It will be down below. Um, anyway, so I've got, like I said, I've got some events. Um, I've got some, I've got some buddy reads. Um, and then on the other side of this shelf, so... <laughs> Again, I don't really know how to articulate like this particular section. There's some books on here that are new books that I purchased. Um, so earlier this year, um, I bought, uh, two, well, actually I bought three Jenny Lawson books. One I'd already read. Um, but yeah, so um, they're books that I hope to get to, um, you know, at some point this year. And I just, I there's no space on the shelf for them anyway, <laughs> so they might as well be on the cart. Um, some books I got in my recent eBay haul. Um, and then, yeah, so there's just a couple, a couple things on there that it would be nice to read, but they're not, they're facing the opposite direction from what I, what I'm considering to be the front of the cart. Um, so they're, they're not as high priority because they're definitely not on, none of those books are on the 32 books for 2022. And, and that brings us to the bottom shelf. So apologize for reaching down here, and trying to grab a couple things that I haven't maybe shown on here before. So um, one of those books, um, this is The Organ Trail by Rinker Buck. Um, and I bought this, I think last year. Uh, yeah, I think this was part of the vaccination celebration. Um, so I bought this book and I, I, you guys, I live essentially like, have spent most of my life on The Organ Trail. <laughs> um, but what I would really like to do is read this book and then talk to you about it in some of the places where the Oregon Trail actually is, because I, I do have the ability to do that, which is which would be really, a really, really cool special video. So that's what I'm planning to do for this one, but I, I am trying to stay on top of like, as I buy new books, like, you know, I should read them, right? Like instead of letting them stay on my shelves for, you know, decades. Um, Let's see, another book that maybe I haven't shown on here. Every summer I tell myself, I'm gonna read The Power of One <laughs> and I never get to it. Um, so I really, really wanna get to this one this year because I, again, I just, I, I don't even know how long I've been wanting to read this book and I, I don't know why I haven't done it. Probably because it's a little bit bigger, but um, let's see how many pages. It's, yeah, it's 513 pages, so it'd take me a little while. But uh, anyway, so so that's on my list. So so basically, the bottom shelf is all of the books that are on the 32 for 2022 that I haven't read yet. Um, the other thing that is on the bottom shelf and. Um, this just kind of came to me recently in in March, doing middle grade March, and I read three middle grade books. Um, I read one at the end of February, and then I read two in March. And I just really, you know, I could see why I had enjoyed them um, when I was in middle grade, but I was kind of like, eh, you know, like just not. I don't know. I, I'm. I'm so much older now, it was so long ago that I, I first experienced and read those books. Um, so I sort of went through our YA and um, middle grade section of the library, which is by far and away the smallest part of it. And, and there's definitely books 
in there that I'm, we're not going to get okay, rid so of. So I pulled out, um, I pulled out just a few middle grade books to kind of, uh, you know, like look at, do I need to keep this? Um, I can't show you this one. It's little, I can't show you the front because it's got my maiden name on it. Um, this is a uh, little house in the big woods. I don't know why my mom wrote my name on the cover. Thank you, mother. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, and I, this is the first book in the um, little house series, I believe. Um, certainly not the most famous one. Another one is Ella Enchanted, um, which I absolutely hated the movie because I enjoyed the book so much um, when I read it. And I did read this as an adult initially, but I'm kind of, I don't know, like I've read it a couple times and each time I'm just, I don't know, like less, less enthusiastic about it. I still think it's a great book and I still think a lot of people would really enjoy it. I'm just, I'm just not sure if like I need to hang on to it. Does that make sense? Um, and then this is one I mentioned as part of my booktube spin. Um, this is Mara, Daughter of the Nile by Eloise Jarvis McGraw. Again, I read this in like sixth or seventh grade. And again, I, you know, I'm a very different person from my um, 11 or 12 year old self. So I thought I should reread this. Now, like if I like these books, um, I will keep them for sure, definitely. But I think it's important. Um, I think it's important to read them and and just reevaluate them um, because we change as readers so much. We grow so much. Um, so yeah. So I need to add some Shakespeare. There's some other events that I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I put any of those books on this cart yet? Um, and yeah, some things that I'm like, oh, it'd be really nice to read that maybe this year. But um, I really do. I mean, 32 books in a year. I mean, considering that like my Goodreads goal is to read 50 books. Um, so to read 32 books, um, to read the 32 books off that list is is going to be, it's going to be uh, ambitious um, for me. So especially because I'll also be reading whatever is chosen next for the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction, which I have a feeling it could be a really big book, but I don't know yet. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, so I apologize that I can't like show you more of the freaking card. Yeah, it's, there's a lot of stuff on there. Um, and you probably won't see it in, in many future videos unless I really revamp it. Or maybe that's something I'll do at the beginning of every year. Like, all right, here's, here's the cart for this year and what I'll be reading on it. But I would love to hear from you guys as far as, um, again, if you have suggestions for me, um, what you think of, of the cart. It's weird because when I first saw these on booktube, I was like, I don't need that. I don't like, there's no point in that or whatever for me. Um, not that it wasn't fun to see other people's cards, but, uh, um, but yeah, I'm excited and it has sort of freed up. Like you, if you, well, you can't, you can't tell now, but there's lots of books that are like stacked in front of shelves um, piled up in different places. I really don't like it. I would really like the the library to be a little more, uh, pristine. Um, but you know, nonetheless, like it, it, it is what it is. Um, but this car will at least help me, I think, focus a little more. All right, booktube, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.